figure out how much you want to spend before you start. <laughs> That's my advice because it can, it can get, out, get out of hand pretty quickly. Um, and it's male dominated and it's a lot easier for, for somebody to buy equipment than a pair of underwear. So I would say, you know, figure out your bottom line because it'll get out of hand really fast. Um, and figure out how much you want to be an engineer and how much you want to get work done. This stuff comes out so quickly uh, that buying potential is sometimes not what you really want. Maybe you need a hammer. Maybe you don't need every, every uh, feature on the planet. Um, and that, that was, I think that's where the, the manufacturers of this stuff fail us, is that they make these ext extremely uh, flexible systems which don't really define how to use them. They say, Here you go, do whatever you want. So I would say figure out how much you want to spend and how much time you want to spend when you're facing the manual because we're in this place where all these engineers are out of work. They've got all these friends who are musicians and created these great relationships and because of these great relationships people feel feel free to call up and say, hey, can you tell me how to, and this is consulting, you know, this is taking money out of people's pockets. And on the one hand, it's, it's as a friend, you're very willing to do that. On the other hand, it's like, it's, it's kind of a weird place to be. You got 10 or 15 people calling you several times a day to help them wade through this stuff. Well, um, either be prepared to pay somebody for that or on the front end figure out how much you want to be involved with that kind of nonsense. Um, it's, I think it's up to, to the person who's building the studio because the manufacturers aren't going to help you. They're just going to make you, give you as many choices as you want to take on. So you've got to define what you want and, and, and use it to death. I mean there's so many, so much stuff that comes out and you know somebody like a Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis who's really using every iota out of every box that they've had since, <laughs> since early 1980. Um, I don't know if people are doing that. You know, used, it's easy to buy new stuff, but how, how easy is it to really know the tool that you have? 